Hello again, Entertainment, back with another review here, and it's episode 2 of season 2 of The Mandalorian, and this one is called The Passenger. You know what? Watching this, I felt like a passenger. The first half of this episode was absolutely horrendous, let's make no mistake about it. So let's quickly recap that before we dive into the second half, but... Essentially, the wee mechanic woman is tasking the Mandalorian with moving this, like, lizard slash frog creature, you know, to get back to her planet. She's got her spawn with her, so she's called, like, what, the frog lady, so she can get back with her husband, right? And as they're taking off, this, this frog speaks not a word of English, right? We've got Baby Yoda there. Baby Yoda keeps on eating some of the spawn of this, and I was like, mate, the Mandalorian's told you about fucking five times here. And the Mandalorian just went down into the lower things of that ship and gouged that wee bastard's eyes out. Would anyone have been complaining? Probably not, but as they're like flying through the stars, um, the New Republic pilots take off, they basically start chasing Mando, he gets on this planet, it's like, it's like a freezing cold planet. Uh, what is Mercury a freezing cold planet? I don't know. What the, I don't know what it's called, right? Because obviously it doesn't have the same shit, to be honest. But um, yeah, so the New Republic pilots take off, chasing them, and then Mando manages to lose them. But the only reason he loses them is because he fucking crashes, and then they get stuck. And basically, they're going to freeze to death. And then Baby Yoda keeps eating the eggs. It's like, mate, how many times have you fucking told him? Not to date. And he continues to date. It's a repeating felony here. And it's like, mate, why don't you just fucking deck this wee man? But no, he doesn't want to deck him. And then the frog lady takes off after managing to like program a droid to attempt to talk to Mandalorian. Says that he needs she, he needs her. No, he, she needs him to go help. But of course, he can't do it. So with that, and then it's like, see at that point, it's like, what another shit episode? Like, like I'm I'm talking about it's like a zero or a one. Just a Mandalorian driving this frog lady about, he gets into a chase scene. It's like, things picked up so much towards the fucking end of last season. I thought this season's been very, like, lackluster. Kind of like, early season one. This is not a good show. Like, at points it's good. But in the grand scheme of things, in terms of the, st like, the story just fucking takes a seat. You know, just not that good. Just not that fucking good if we're being um, perfectly honest, but things did pick up here because the frog lady runs off, manages to find what, a sauna, a hot tub in the middle of this planet, I don't know what's going on, goes ahead into it, starts laying her eggs, Mandalorian starts throwing the eggs into like the wee chamber that it's being held in, Baby Yoda walks away, finds these eggs and I was like, these eggs look like xenomorphs, and I was like, they're not going to do a xenomorph cross here, are they? They're not going to do a crossover with a xenomorph. Turns out they didn't, but he eats one. And then as he's walking away, they start moving. But I didn't really know what they were, I didn't really... Well, I mean, when, when I seen him eat it, it kind of looked like a xenomorph slash like a spider hang. And it turns out it was a spider hang, because then, like, millions upon millions start appearing. You've got the bigger ones, and then you got the big mama. The big mama spider starts chasing them, and I honestly thought Frog Lady might have died here, but she doesn't. They managed to get back to the ship. It was like a really last long here. A um, couple of plasma grenades kind of wipe out the big mama, but then like loads of them are just climbing into the ship. Mandalorian struggling to get the doors closed. Um, the Frog Lady helps out baby baby Yoda, and then they go to take off, but then the big mama jumps on top of the ship. But as she jumps on top of the ship and is trying to break in, the New Republic uh, guards or shooters, fighters, whatever you want to call them, from earlier turn up and start shooting. They actually rescue them and then they say that Mandalorian's under arrest. But due to all his good Samaritan work by getting people who are wanted and protecting people who they like, he's not technically under arrest. Good day, sir. And then they take off into the starlight, into the, the atmosphere of Star Wars. And it's like... Alright, and that is your episode, episode 2 here, I mean, I've only watched 12, or no, 10 episodes, but I started this ages ago, and it just feels like at this point, you're just, you're just trying to get to the end, you know, anyway, we have to rate it out of 10, I'll give it a 4, it wasn't that good guys, but until then, peace.